Hey guys, this is PvP Production, and this is a video tutorial on a program called iBurn360. iBurn360 is a program for Mac users only, so if you own a PC and not a Mac, this tutorial is not for you. Um, this program allows you to burn 360 games with ease. It's very easy to use, and it's a really great program. If you have a PC, you have to find programs that will work for you, and they're really hard to use. This is the most easiest and simplest burning program for 360 games that I think is out there. Um, it's free, so you don't have to pay for it. And yeah, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get it and a little bit about how to use it. Um, to get it, go to Google and type in iBurn360. Click on the first search result and then go on the top and click download. And then click the link and just download it to your desktop or whatever so I have it right here and all that you have to do in order to install it is just click it to your applications folder uh, once you do that it should be right here in your applications just click on it and it will open now when you burn 360 games you have to have a layer break that layer break is automatically set you don't want to mess with that and it tells you your recorder. If you have uh, several recorders, this is good because you can select which one. But you just enter a uh, disk and I'll tell you what kind it is. Actually, let me enter one in real quick. Okay, well, that is loading. Um, a little bit more is this button allows you to eject the CD from your computer and you can always just refresh um, see it says my drive but it hasn't found the dual layer yet um, then you can select a recording speed once it loads it allows you to burn it two times or four times you always want to make sure to do two it takes a little bit longer but it makes sure that the game burns um, precisely next thing is an ISO image um, once you have your game or whatever you drag it to right here and it will just find it or whatever and just click burn and there it goes so all you do is enter CD drag the ISO image or image file and click burn and you're ready to go as you can see it found the disk that was in my um, super drive and it's all ready to go. So this program is very good and it's just amazing how well it works. Um, and for the recording speeds it's 2.4 or 4. So yeah, um, make sure to use this program wisely and make sure you use it responsibly. This has been a video tutorial by BBB Production. Thank you for watching.